Faux painted headboard. So I've been wanting a headboard for McKinley's room for a long time. She just has the metal frame with the box spring and mattress, nothing fancy or girly. We don't have the budget right now to purchase anything and I keep thinking that I will find the perfect headboard at a garage sale but I haven't for 4 years now. I don't want to wait until the right thing comes along because she could be 16 by the time I do. She's 6 now, this past week my cousin sent me a link from Land of Nod for a headboard decal. It was really cheap. $15, but when I saw it I knew I could paint a headboard for even cheaper. Thanks for the idea Sue. This was an easy project and I love how it turned out. It took about an hour start to finish, if you want to make one here's what you will need. A large sheet of paper, I used the backside of one of my kids old projects am I a bad mom? I like to think of it as recycling. Pencil. Date. Acrylic paint and brush. Plates in two different sizes. Tape measure. I started by researching headboards. I sketched out about eight different types then let my daughter pick which one she liked best. She chose the one above. Measure the width of your bed and the height that you want your headboard. My is 24 inches high, from the top of the mattress, and 41 inches wide. I used my dinner plates to make my center curve and a smaller plate to do the slight curves on either side of the large one. A cup was helpful in making the finial on the top of the post. I really only needed to sketch one side then I folded it in the center and cut both sides out together.